Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this video is probably going to be shorter than normal as the actual topic we're going to be covering doesn't take that long. But I just wanted to give it its own dedicated video just to step through and explain the, the whys and the whats uh, as we're going to use this particular format in videos going forwards. So what we'll do is actually, if I just add some code in here, it'll help to first explain. As always, I'll put this into a module, uh, and we're going to just do a create a subroutine. So we'll call this sheet underscore ref. So in previous videos, when we've been trying to refer to a particular range, uh, and for me, I'm going to do a cell A1 of sheet 1, we've had to do uh, something like this. So we had to go define first what the sheet is. So go in sheets, and it's going to be sheet 1. And then we've gone obviously gone in and done, I'm going to do a cells uh, one dash one dot value equals hello. So this simple piece of code is going to just populate the value hello in cell A1 here for us. I mean, just hit F5 to run that and make sure it is indeed correctly working. So we could continue to just populate all of our, or define all of our ranges as we've done here. And let's say we then had something else to do here as well. We could then also put that sheets, uh, sheet one um, dot cells. And this time let's do it in the next one. Let's go there. Dot value equals goodbye. For lack of uh, lack of creativity of what to put in there. And we run this and we can now see the next row has got the, the word goodbye in it. We can tidy our code up ever so slightly by actually storing this reference of sheet number one as a variable, as we have done previously in other videos where we've just been storing things like numbers and text. In order to do so, we start off very much the same as all the others where we have to define what the variable type is. So for this, it's going to be dim, and we're going to call this one, and you can be again more creative with your naming conventions, SHT1 as a work. Ooh, work sheet and then the next part again is very similar to what we've done with the numbers and string but this time we have to actually use the word set so we're actually setting what that variable uh, or the value is uh, or the reference should I even say in this example so we're going to put set and we're going to put sht1 uh, equals and it's going to be sheets sheet1 so one way to look at this is we're literally just saying we're going to store this first part as this value here and then yeah the rest of this can then continue as it is in this example we're going over anyway. So we've got our, our variable defined so all we now need to do is simply remove this whole first section here and actually rather than do that I'm going to just get rid of this whole code here and enter it again. So rather than this time typing in sheet sheet 1 when we're referring to this row 2 value of goodbye all I need to do now is type in our variable, so we go SHT1, and we're going to put, oh, no, we're out the space, so SHT1 dot cells. So you can see it's already understood that our shorthand here, our variable, has been defined as a worksheet. So it's given us all the drop down options available to us had we coded in this above example. So cells, and we're going to do 2, 1, close brackets, dot value equals uh, good, goodbye like so. So we can see that it's already a lot shorter again by all of these characters we have here. If we now run this, again if we clear the values that might help so you can actually see it's doing something. Here F5, you can see that the values are now populated in there for us. So again, another tidy way of doing our code uh, rather than having to type out this every time. And as you can appreciate, it's a lot easier, quicker, more efficient to type out uh, four characters than it is to repetitively keep typing this every time. And just to update this, we do SHT1, and that has automatically been stored for us as well. So we clear that, hit F5 over here again, and you can see it's working for us as desired. If we add another sheet, and we haven't actually touched on this in other videos, so at the moment you can see I've just got sheet one there, and then this work workbook. If I'm to add another sheet, you can see how that sheet is automatically added in here, uh, so we have it available to us in our um, sort of navigation pane over the side. Um, but we don't need to worry about that, we're going to just stay obviously in module one. But if this time, and just to mention, obviously this tab here says sheet number five, as you see on the side here. This is only because I have been playing around with this uh, workbook um, 
prior to actually recording this video. Uh, if you're in a new fresh uh, workbook, then obviously it would then tell you sheet number two and every sheet you, you added would incrementally go up by one. So if I added another one now, you'd see that it goes up to number six. Uh, just to touch on that if you're confused why it suddenly said sheet number five there. So we've now got another sheet, we can just remove six, don't need that. So we've now got this new sheet number five. So we now want to start populating something in there as well. If we want to define that again, same with what other variables we looked at, we can just utilize this first dim we've got at the top here, add a comma, so we'll call this SHT5 as worksheet. Oh, if I could work, worksheets. Yeah, we need to come down here and we can now go set SHT5 equals sheets and we'll go into sheet five, close brackets like so. And then this time we can do something different. We'll go SHT five dot cells, and we'll put it in the first one, dot value equals uh, hello number five, or hello sheet, hello sheet number five. Okay, so now when we run this, uh, as you probably assume, yeah, it's gonna obviously update for us as required. So the purpose of today's video really was to go over that. Uh, I might have dragged it out longer than it needed to be, uh, but the intention was for this video to be shorter than normal. Uh, I just wanted to do a dedicated video on this topic as we're gonna be using this, these references going forward, rather than typing out each time uh, the actual sheet reference. Um, so I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you did, please do give this video a like as it would be greatly appreciated by me. And it also does help that YouTube algorithm. And lastly, if it's the first time uh, watching any of our videos or you have watched previous ones and you've not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and also make sure you hit that bell notification button um, as it will obviously notify you of all of our future videos as they come out. And again, it'll be highly uh, appreciated and beneficial to the channel as well. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.